Okay, we go. Coke okay, head. solo, number one. Number one. A one, two, three, four. It's Robin just jumping on real quick. It's been a while on Facebook and I thought it was time to share something cool uh, for guitar players and in this lesson I want to show you some ideas and in fact a ready-made solo on the tune Coquette, okay? I've got three solos which I composed for the Gypsy Jazz Club and I want to share one with you. So just sit back, relax and uh, enjoy this lesson. Um, if you're watching from somewhere exotic, then type it in, let me know where you are, and um, I would love to know. I'm in Amsterdam, my name's Robin. So I made three solos on Coquette recently at the Gypsy Jazz Club. Uh, I did this whole masterclass on three hot solos, and um, let me play the first one. And by the way, if you want the whole masterclass, um, just go to gypsyjazzclub.com and you can get a free trial. Let me just play the first one for you. Okay, here we go. Solo number one. Go nice and simple. One. One, two. A one, two. So that's the first solo and it's kind of basic and simple but it's kind of groovy and melodic and fun at the same time so uh, let me show you that solo um, by the way this is live I hope you're all doing well don't be afraid to click the love heart button let me know where you are and if there's a gypsy jazz club member watching this uh, please type in gypsyjazzclub.com because what I'm teaching you now is just part of a whole masterclass I did in the Gypsy Jazz Club, three hot solos on Coquette. I've done this series recently of kind of composing solos on tunes, um, and it's really helping students, and I'm just gonna share a bit of that way of teaching now. So Coquette, right, we've got D, and then you've got E minor seven, a7, right? So for the D, we just play this phrase. It's really kind of simple. It's just three, three, four, right? It doesn't get more simple. It's just, right? So when, when the chord is on D, we're just going to go, okay? Nice and simple. And then it goes to E minor 7, A7, right? And then we're going to go, right? So for the E minor 7, and that's do be do be do be do be do be do be do So no real surprises here, just notes which really fit in the chord. So, so far we've just got um, right, really 
kind of in the pocket harmony here. If you want to get the chart to this lesson, right? We've got it all written out, of course, PDFs. It's in the masterclass, which lives in the Gypsy Jazz Club. So you've just got to go to gypsyjazzclub.com. Um, I'm just going to give you a little taste. I'm going to play the solo again because this lesson, I'm not actually going to teach the whole solo, but it's kind of to give you an idea of how these solos sound. In fact, let me let me play for you just for fun. I'll play for you solo number two, okay? So this is uh, solo number two from Three Hot Solos. Here we go. Okay, solo number two. All right. Number two. solo number two right which is a little bit more there's a few more kind of nifty phrases in it like um, and it's pretty cool so I've just given you a taste of the solos I'll go back and teach one in a second number three uh, I do these chords because it's nice to have some crispy crunchy chords in your solos and solo number three uh, kind of shows you how to use a few of these kind of chord inversions in your solo. So let's check it out. Uh, solo number three. Uh, here we go. Hope you all solo doing well. Solo number three on coquette. Using some chords. Here we go. Lots of space. now. <laughs> yeah, so that's solo number three and it's kind of uses these for D major, for the 2-5 we've got, right, which is a really nice sound, right, right, so solo number three will show you how to use chords in your solo, but let's go back to number one, that was the solo I was going to show you in this lesson, um, and uh, just to remind you of the A section goes like this, right, here we go. Coquette solo number, number one. one. Two, one. Here we go. Okay, so that first phrase is just really, really kind of melodic and easy, but you play it really groovy, okay? So you just go and... Again, here we go. So we go. Right, just rounds off in D. Uh, let's play it again. Um, just giving you a taste okay, of it solo, right now. Number one. Okay, here we go. Maybe you'll get one of these licks. Second day, we just use this phrase on D, we just go, which is just like, 
just like a quote from Them Their Eyes, obviously, right? Then when it goes to, we just go. Excuse the singing. Um, but it's just a little variation. Let's see what happens for the bridge. Hope you're all doing well. Okay, take it to the bridge. Okay, so the bridge of Coquette goes to A minus 7, D7, right to G. So we've got this 2 5 1 into G. And in this solo, we just go, um, what do we do? Actually, forgot. <laughs> okay, so we go. So we go for the A minor. We go. So basically, right, covering the A minor, and then going into G major. Right. Then for the E7. Right, for the E7. Right, so again, just nothing really out of the ordinary, but going this phrase works great on a dominant seventh. You know, you've got E9 there, and you just go. You heard that phrase, right? Right, and then. Right, so for the last two, five. Copying that phrase again from the beginning. And then it comes back to the last. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Top. What you can do as well, I'm just logged into the Gypsy Jazz Club here. You can slow it down a bit, right? And use the chart, and then you could play it, you could play it like this. Um, Coquette solo number one. one. Nice and slow. Okay. Obviously, you can use the video in the club uh, and the chart, and then you can kind of just practice it, really. And it will give you a nice little solo that will help you in your solo, right? Maybe you'll like a couple of the licks, and they'll kind of fit under your fingers. Um, let's jump to solo number two, right? I'll give you another taste of that. This was quite, number two. quite crispy, this one. one two. Number two. slow that that one down too right and if we slow it down a bit uh, you can start to hear what's going on here we go nice and slow one, two, and for that right for the D major I'll just use this phrase which is kind of a pattern I see a lot when I'm playing over D major I play the major seventh I play the fifth, I play the third, 
and play the root. Six, five, right? Right? For the two, five. Right? So basically, when I've been teaching, I've found for, with my students that we learn licks, we learn arpeggios, we learn scales, but sometimes kind of combining all these things plus using our ear can be a bit tricky. So recently I started this series called Hot Solos, right? And I did three hot solos on Bossa Dorado. I've done three hot solos on Minor Swing and I've just done three hot solos on Coquette. And each solo is a little bit different and kind of uses different ways of playing, you know, like octaves or chords. Um, and they're a little bit, you know, one's really simple, one gets a little bit tricky. And it's really helped players because then, you know, you've got a ready tailor-made solo that you can use yourself, you know. So let's check out number three, right? This is where I use some chords. Coquette solo. It kind of gets groovy now. Here we go. Oh, it's slow. It's nice and slow. Oh, no. That's solo number two. Okay. Let's use solo number three now. These are the chords. Right, loads of swing, loads of space. see that the chords sound great and when you're using chords in your solo you're kind of looking for little you know use that inversion for example for D right and then you've got this 2-5 like E minor 7 A7 and this little move is great right so that's kind of a move that I use a lot and it sounds cool in this kind of music So there's loads of these ideas which I've kind of basically formulated into these tailor-made little solos on Coquette. And I'm, this lesson, but what's been happening, I've just been showing you a few of these ideas to get to whet your appetite, basically. And your next step, right, basically, if you want to learn this music, there's three things you can do, okay? If you're a beginner, get the crash course. There's a Gypsy Jazz crash course, which is free gypsyjazzcrashcourse.com. The link is below the video. That will get you up and running, right? Some rhythm, some basic scales and basic stuff. Um, get the book as well. The book is really awesome for beginners, gypsyjazzbook.com. And if you're ready to get personal coaching from me, join the community for support and get access to literally hundreds of hours of on-demand training, then go to gypsyjazzclub.com and you also get the whole Coquette Masterclass, okay? So that's it. I'm just giving, it's been a while I've been on Facebook, so I just wanted to say hi and uh, send the love. If there's a Gypsy Jazz Club member watching, type in gypsyjazzclub.com and uh, leave me a comment. I answer them all and uh, stay safe and stay inspired, okay? This is Robin Nolan wishing you a great day. See you later. <laughs>